Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? So today I wanted to do like a summer look tutorial and for that I'll be using the Changeable Fantasy Eyeshadow Palette. Looks like this. So I think the look I'm going to be going for you guys is going to be with the pinks and purples. So I'll be using this palette and I'll be using another also. The other palette I'm going to dip into is going to be the Spotlight Palette. This is by You Can Be. You can purchase this on Amazon for $14.99. And the changeable palette you can purchase on Amazon between $11 and $14. This is what this one looks like. So beautiful. So many different colors to choose from. So I'm going to jump right in, you guys. First, I'm priming my eyes. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me. Mine is in the shade Ivory. And I do already have my eyebrows done. I don't ever do them in the videos because it takes so long for me to do them. And I have weird shaped eyebrows too. Like they're super big. They're super bushy. So if I fill them in too much, then they're going to look really big. I try to just fill in like this part and then a little bit over here. But I try to keep it at a minimal because if I do too much, they're going to look like caterpillars on my face. Oh, and I forgot to say, I'm taking a little tiny beauty sponge that I got at my local Gorman's. It come five in a pack or it come four in a pack um, for $3. So the first palette I'm going to get into is going to be the changeable one. I'm going to go in with this neutral shade right here. And that's going to go all over my lid. Using a bigger blending brush by Mesquite. And these brushes are really good, you guys. I got a 12-pack for $8.99 on Amazon. I'm going to pick up this lighter shade pink. And that is going to go a little above my crease. For that, I'm using a blending brush by Mesquite. The next shade I'm picking up is this purple right here. And that is going to go directly into my crease. Also using another Miski brush for that. I mean, this Fantasy palette is definitely my new favorite, you guys. It's amazing. It's got a huge selection of colors, and it's only like $12. I mean, and it's amazing. The pigment's good. Everything's just amazing about it. I'm going to go in with this darker shade of purple right here. And I'm going to get that right on the outer V of my eye and blend my way into the center of the crease. Using this Luxe Pencil Brush by Jessup. I'm going to go back in with that medium shade purple and blend all that out. Now jumping into the spotlight palette, I'm going to take this sparkly purple right here. And I'm going to lay that on the inner half of my lid using another flatted brush by Mesquite. Now I'm going to pick up this darker shade purple and get that right on the outer V of my eye. For this, I'm just using a flat wooden brush. I'm 
Okay, guys, I think that is done for the eyes. I'm going to get my mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've got my mascara on, what I used was the L'Oreal Voluminous. This is my favorite stuff of all time, you guys. You can get it for $6 on Amazon. It's amazing. If you guys get it, you will not regret it. It does amazing things for my eyelashes. And as you can see, I have like super small eyelashes. Super, super short. And it does give them a little bit of length. Moving on for face, I'm using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. If you have oily skin, I recommend only using it, using it in the T-zone. So between your forehead, down your nose, your chin, and a little under your eyes. Back in with that Maybelline concealer and um, cover up any blemishes that I have. Take my little sponge and blend that out. For foundation today, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match. Mine is in the shade Soft Ivory. To blend that in, I'm going on my Equal Tool sponge. You can purchase these on Amazon between $3 and $4. To conceal under my eyes, I'm going back with that Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. my eyebrows, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and a little on my chin. Going back in with that Eagle Tool sponge. I really like the sponge. It's really big and bouncy. The only thing I don't like is this side isn't, it doesn't really have the pointy end so you can't really get into small spaces like eyes and the corner of noses. Gonna go back on my little sponge to blend under my eyes. To set that, I'm going on my Smashbox contour kit and I'm using the lightest shade using my Real Technique setting brush. Palette is amazing, you guys. This is a travel size. You can get this on Amazon for $19. To contour, I'm going with this gray undertone, and I'm using a Makeup Works um, flat contour brush. Yeah, if there's anything you guys ever want to know about me, just ask. I'm not that big of a talker, but if you guys have questions, just ask me. Leave them in the comments below, and I'll be happy to answer for you guys. Contour my nose. I'm going with this brush from Vertex. You can get these on Amazon. They come three in a pack for $12.99. You get a face contouring brush and then you get two nose contouring brushes. For blush, I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Con. This is in Fantastic Plastic Pink. Using another Makeup Works brush. This is a rounded powder brush. This is a very subtle um, blush, but I like to use subtle when I'm doing a vibrant eye look. I'm going to do the bottom of my eyelashes quick. The last thing, I am using the Hard Candy Plumping Serum. This is Flashers. I actually got this at my local Dollar Tree for a dollar, which I could not believe. I haven't ever seen them sell Hard Candy. I thought Walmart was the only place that sold it. This stuff is okay, but it's really, really sticky. Like super sticky. 
So yeah, you guys, I think that is the finished look. Once again, I use the spotlight. Purchased this on Amazon for $14.99 and it does have 40 colors. And I also use the changeable fantasy palette. This has 39 colors. And this you can get between $11 and $13. And I'm telling you guys, get this and you will not regret it. It is an amazing palette. It's like my go-to now. There's colors in there for summer, fall, Christmas, 4th of July. There's colors in there for any holiday. So it's an amazing palette. Get yourself one. And if you do, let me know and we can do makeup together. Um, so yeah, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you guys think. Seriously, if there's any cool eyeshadow palettes out there that you think I should try, let me know. If there's anything that you like that you think I might like, let me know in the comment box down below. And I'll be happy to get it and try it for you guys. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And thanks for tuning in.